So we all like free things, and today that's exactly what's going to happen. Uh, well, it just depends if you actually get one, but it's going to be a review of the SN750 SE. How's it guys, welcome back. I hope you've been keeping well. What are we gonna be reviewing today? The WD Black SN750 SE NVMe SSD that operates off PCIe 4. Yes, it's a lot. So technology has evolved and we're seeing more standardized PCIe 4 coming into the market with obviously Intel on 11th gen. It was with Ryzen on third gen and fifth gen and I don't think we're going to be seeing PCIe 5, or at least I don't see the need for PCIe 5, but I digress. What are we going to do today? We're going to be looking at the drive a little bit closer so you guys can see what it looks like nice and up close. I'll show you a quick installation of how it is installed. Then we're going to benchmark it, and then we are going to conclude. So let's look at this unit a little bit closer. Now that we know what it looks like, it's time to install it and to benchmark it. So in order to get the maximum from this drive, it does need to be in PCIe 4. So if you're not sure how to check this, you can down download Crystal Disk Information. And we will see there that there is the drive and it is in a PCIe 4 slot. Well, it's transfer mode is PCIe 4 and it is in a PCIe 4 slot. Then once that's done, let's check how it performs. Now that that is finished, let's see how the performance stacks up against what the WD says that it should be. Okay, looking at the performance, it has overperformed 3600 just slightly. So 3600 actually was 3646, and then on right it was 2000, but we actually just hit over. So dry performing epically well. Okay, guys, conclusion time. So. I did say that I would touch on a few things when I did conclude and the reason is this is a limited edition that comes with Battlefield 2042. If you're in South Africa, the base edition will cost you around about a thousand rand, which is 80 odd dollars. I have seen higher prices overseas. So if you are watching this from overseas, do the maths on your side. So the reason I say that is this is retailing for 2399 and then you get the terabyte version, which is at 3699. So you're looking at about say $180 odd and maybe $260 odd. I will put the pricing up there because yes, uh, quick math. But is this drive worth it? No. Yes. No, yes. It's worth it because you're getting a game that is worth so much and you're actually getting basically early access uh, to it-ish. So you know that you're covered by buying 
the NVMe and you're gonna get the game. It does come with a five year warranty, which is really great about the product. But if this SSD didn't have the game attached, it wouldn't be worth it. And why do I say that? It's because if you go and look at its competition, even if you look at Sabre and Samsung, they have much higher write speeds and read speeds at better, if not, the, if not lower pricing but the fact that this does have this game brings us down to a price point of 1399 and that is an epic price for a WD. Western Digital is known for its stability, for its longevity and for its reliability and that is what you're getting with this drive. And when you're putting this in and you are operating with PCIe 4, you will notice the difference. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this review. I hope that I've encouraged you to go and get one of these special editions before they run out because I don't know what stocks are. Stocks are limited. But anyway, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day, evening, morning, wherever you are. Cheers and goodbye.